So back in the early 2000s, the population of coho salmon on the Russian River watershed was, was next to nothing. Um, you can literally count them on your two hands. And that's sort of when we realized we better do something now or we're going to lose these fish forever. The Russian River was once home to tens of thousands of coho, steelhead, and chinook salmon. By 2001, coho salmon were brought to the brink of extinction and federal, state, and local government agencies along with nonprofit groups started the Russian River Coho Salmon Broodstock Program. It was a last ditch effort to prevent extinction here in the watershed. So we took the progeny of those last few pairs that were left in the watershed and we brought those fish into captivity. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers runs the hatchery component of the program at the Coho Broodstock Building at the base of Warm Springs Dam at Lake Sonoma, which deals with raising the fish, spawning the fish, and all the tagging and releasing. Um, once those fish are released out into the wild, um, not only does Mother Nature take over, but so do other agencies. In 2004, the first year of the program, 6,000 juvenile cohos were released. Last year, the release number was up to 193,000. The captive release and wild coho are monitored year-round to develop estimates of summer and winter survival rates. The monitoring component of this program, which is run by the UC Cooperative Extension, and they basically monitor all the post-release survival, uh, movement, growth of these fish, and ultimately how many adults come back from the ocean to spawn successfully in the watershed. Coho survival has been highest in streams with higher summer flows, cooler temperatures, and dense canopy cover, features that have been reduced over time along the Russian River. This watershed is over 95 percent privately owned, so a lot of the work that we do is, is through collaboration. Partners of the program are working with landowners to identify and improve the conditions that limit coho salmon recovery. One of the more unique parts of this program is this multi-agency collaboration. And all these agencies have different you know, resources that they can bring to the table. And whether it be funding or, or permitting, um, habitat restoration, you name it, it all sort of adds to the big picture of the program. While 10 years ago only five adult coho were counted returning to Russian River tributaries, last winter it was estimated that 500 adult coho salmon returned to the watershed. It's going to take a number of years and numerous generations to get where we want to get, but those numbers are definitely um, moving in the right direction. 